Manage pull. New pull. Question mark, question mark. Cast nouns versus whatever. 20 min. Versus heroic play pub. All right, I started a pull. View results. All right, let's see. Let's see what the, the chat wants here. Cast nouns versus heroic is here. Play pub is here. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. I will honor whatever the poll says. Whatever the poll says, majority doesn't matter if it's 50, 49 to 51. I will honor what the poll says. If, oh, 50 50. It's a dead even. If it's. Oh my god, it's, it's still. Okay. One is a squeaking out. The nouns heroic is squeaking out just barely. It's a little squeaker. Got a squeaker here, boys. 100 to 104. Two, get your votes in, boys. Get your votes in. There's 3,900 people here. 3,900. Get your votes in. Get your votes in, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know if you can, like, holy shit, this is so close. Oh my god, the pubs is just winning barely. Oh, it's, just, it's coming down to the wire. It's coming down to the... Oh, set out for heroic squeaks ahead a little bit. Three votes. Oh no, now pubs take it back by two. Oh, it's going to be so close. Get your votes in. The pubs is winning barely five votes. And oh, it's even... Oh, at the very last... Second nouns versus heroic wins at the very last. I got that down to the fucking wire. Literally one vote. You'd never see that anywhere, man. You'd never see that. That's insane. That was crazy. That was right down to the wire. It was like head, head. It was like neck and neck. Usually these things are pretty one sided, but that was close. Yeah, the election was rigged, man. Someone, someone came in and bought some votes. Bought some Reddit votes. All right, so I will cast with a one vote uh, advantage, casting wins, so I will wait. Um, in the meantime, maybe do overthrow? I don't know, overthrow is like, kind of like ch cringe, because you guys just all snipe me. You guys like... I have like... Calm down. Gaborsa? Thanks for the I don't know. Uh... Yeah, you guys just like snipe me, and then it's like kind of cringe, cause like I I'm just getting owned by like, whatever. You guys are just like targeting me. You're being unfair. You're bullying me. So it's not fair. What's a good What's a good uh, go hardcore ninja? Nah. No, what's a good What's a good one? What is hardcore ninja? Probably like ah, hardcore ninja is kind of cringe now. I feel I I'm not really feeling the hardcore ninja juices. I want the, like some other, some other one. Hardcore ninja two. Dota run? Dude, Little Nick's like trying to goad me so hard into Alright, I'll play hard I'll play Little Nick and Hardcore Ninja. Okay, I'll play Little Nick, get in here. Get in here, Hardcore Ninja. Oops, I need to make a password. Huh? Why does it not make a lobby? What is happening? Okay, do we just go? Alright. Alright, boys. Uh, time to crank one out on this kid. Sounded dirty. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Bro, you've got to be trolling. Alright, time to get ZZ on this guy. Oh, we have ratings now. One hundred dollar tournament. Oh my god, maybe I should play this. Oh, how did I get in this? Twelve sixteen. I keep clicking F. Because it used to be F, now it's R. Okay. 
Ha? Az nincs rossz. It, I keep clicking F, I, it, cause it used to be F, and I keep clicking it. Maybe I should switch it. Yeah, I'll get used to it. Clicking it. I literally can't stop clicking it. Where are we doing this? Where are we doing this? I, I can't play. Redo. Redo it. Redo it. I don't feel like playing Hardcore Ninja actually. I don't want to play this shit. I don't want to play this shit. They mess with the hotkeys. I don't want to play it anymore. Get the fuck out of my lobby. I don't feel like playing this shit anymore, guys. I don't feel like playing. They messed with my hotkeys, guys. They messed with my hotkeys. I, it's the, the election was rigged. The election was rigged. I promise. The election was rigged. I can't stand cheaters. What is a what is a good uh, what is a good like custom? There's gotta be like a good custom. Atomic War is like way too slow, man. Auto chess. World of Dota. World of Dota. World of Dota. What? World is this nerd shit? Battle Royale. Hello. Escape the Undying is a good game. Zero playing. Dota 1x6 six is like, so shit. I hate that shit. Okay, nouns versus heroic grand final cast. Let's change the title. 5KMR, what is this? Oh, bro, me pissed What is this, squirting emoji? And what are we going Guys, where's the game? How much sex is it? What? Not the address. Не по адресу пишешь, понял? Не по адресу пишешь, здесь приличный стрим. Не шлюха стрим. Не вебкамчица, не онлифанчица. Понял? What is this? Okay. Uh, collect your Dota points? What does that mean? These? Who cares? Why does this shit matter? Why do you care? I literally will never use the shards. Uh, is this ready to go now? Bro, where is the- I- I- I don't understand. The, how is the lobby still not up? What are they doing in between the games? What do they do? Like, what do they do between the game? Most women are boosted. I mean, honestly, if you go to like girl streamers, they usually play in parties. Like, you'll like rarely see like a girl streamer like solo queuing Dota.
How is that even based? It's not, it's like the truth or whatever. Like, they just rarely solo queue. I don't know. It's not like sexist or whatever. It's just like what I've noticed. There's nothing wrong with like party queuing or whatever. It's like how it is. I went back to that girl's stream to like see, I went to like look at girls who streamed, right? Then I had to like see if they party kid. I go back to the girl's stream, I see this fucking horn dog in this, look at this guy. I follow you on Instagram. This guy is January 11th. This guy obviously like went to my, he's in my stream right now. What's his name again? Shoe Pixel? Shoe? Oh, he's not. Wait, oh maybe he, maybe he left my stream to go to her stream. Slash user shoe pixel. Ah, yeah, he did. Okay. What a fucking horn dog, actually. He just went to my stream. He's at my stream. Now he just left to go to her stream. Goodness gracious. Where is he? Hi, you speak English. Very nice, sir. All right, how, where's the game? Where's the game? Where's the game? Where's it? Come on, please. There it goes. All right. So let's see, Liquipedia. Let's see, so I think Nouns is up 2-1 right now. But the game's any good? Did anyone like watch them? It says 1-1, but I think it's 2-1. Wait, is it only 1-1? It's two to one nouns. It says game three live though for some reason. What this guy this guy types two days ago, man, no base horny I already done. Disgusting. Disgusting. Mason, Betboom is making streamers ban on Twitch for casting their games. How does it make sense? How can I not cast their game? They didn't ban Gork C. I think you can you can like cast whatever you want in Dota too. They don't own it. You just can't cast off their stream. Like that's what people they, they don't want you doing. They don't want you like using their stream to watch it, right? Because then you have like the live feed, and also you're using their camera. And if you have the sound on, you're using their casters, so you're kind of like using them, right? But if I'm just watching a game and then cast it or whatever, then it's fine. <sighs> Works you use their stream? Yeah, that, that stuff is really cringe. I don't know. That stuff is cringe as hell. I would watch Gork see over you if he wasn't crying every two sec five seconds. Why would you? Why would you watch Gork see over me, sir? Smiley face. Because his games are better. Very nice, sir. Ellen Dilly is a female? No, he's not. He's a dude. This guy's a dude for sure. There's no way this is a girl. His games are better than mine. Oh. Oh. His games are better than mine. I mean, my games are dog shit, right? Like, I'm playing in the Smurf pool. Even before the Smurf pool, they were, like, pretty bad, so... You think Kuro is going to make a comeback? Well, I don't really know, because I haven't watched any of these games, so it's hard for me to say, but... Mm -hmm. 
Yong told me Gork C is really bad at pause one. Very nice. I mean, I think that Gorksy is not very good at carry either. I mean, oh, I think he improved. I think, I think he suffers from what I have. It's like uh, he's like too, he's too busy chatting, and then he makes really bad plays. I mean, Quakefoot does it like. I mean, again, I don't really watch these people that often, but I've like, seen like snippets and like the last like couple weeks, I've been wa trying to watch a little bit more Dota streamers just because I'm uh, trying to get back into the swing of Dota and everything. Um, Dude, calm down. What's happening? <laughs> Extreme borrowing <laughs> some. Swag and surf. Uh, Quake was Quake was like plays well, or at least like because he, he doesn't really talk in game, right? He like he's actually like he's like very like monotone. He's like clearly very focused. He's not animated, right? He's just like focused on his game and trying to win all of his games and shit. And he's like he's like super focused, right? On one hand, it's really boring, but on the other hand, it like makes him play better. So, that's my no. I think it's like, I think the best thing to do is like how I how how I used to stream, right? How I used to stream is I wouldn't really talk much actually during my streams. I would like I would uh I would play and I would just like flame, right? I would just like do these funny flames every once in a while. I would just like I would just be playing the game. I wouldn't really say much and I was just like trying to win. And then I just like I just like do the yell randomly or like slam my desk. I talked like way less like two, three years ago. At least I think so. I think he managed to build the character around that I watched him last night, I think it's probably his personality. Who's Quakefoot is being boring? Is that his personality? What in the world? Oh. Uh, does anyone, uh, anyone, anyone remember how much I used to talk on stream? Is there actually any old frogs in the chat? I feel like I used to talk way less. It was kind of nice. Very nice, sir. Good one. Great. Camera off because fat? I mean, I just didn't like using cam. I was, cause I, back then, back then I was like, see the thing about me is like back then I was like really, really passionate about Dota still. And I thought like maybe if I played super well, I could get on a team. So I like, I kind of focused. I didn't really, I mean, I, I was still like trying to be funny here and there, like, you know, entertaining, but I mainly just focus on the game. And now it's like me just soying and shit, like, I don't know. I, mean, I, could, I should probably try to revert to a little bit more try hard. So I think I enjoy Dota more like that, and so like soying all the time and like playing bad. But I don't know, you just get into these habits, I feel, like, Dota, life. You get in these habits and sometimes it's like hard to break them. Like, Gorksy cries all the time, right? And I cry like a lot, and uh, if we just break this pattern and like, once you break the pattern, it's like, and like form a new pattern, it, it's not that hard, honestly. You just have to be very conscious about it, right? You have to like constantly think about it until you form that new pattern. All right, anyways, let's cast this game. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a bet boom gotcha any SA grand finals. We have heroic on one side and now it's another. Now it's currently leading two. One in a best of five. The winner goes to the land bet boom dacha. I think it's in Dubai because that's where the oil money is. Betters are oilers. Oilers are betters. Both of them have lots of money and spend it on stupid things. Like 3OB, 3OB gifting hundreds of subs to a fat man with diabetes who probably spends it on cocaine and heroin. Just kidding. I love Jubate. That is a joke. All right, looks like we have the draft one over here. Doom and Lion on one side for nouns, and the other side, Heroic has picked up Ventral Spear, Techies, and Mars. I think, uh, can I get a co-caster here? Can I get co any co-casters in the chat tonight? Did he, did he delete his messages? What's happening? Answer a really bad guy. What's going on here? I don't know what's happening. Uh, no, wait, streaming to any casters here in the chat? At Rodeo, at Little Nick, wait, is that? Little Nick at the Boris. <laughs> Calm down. What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. Colon closing Lamb parenthesis. Lamb man thinks the sub man. Appreciate rope. Trying to get some of the bros up in here. Oh, duh, duh, duh. K 
cast with Jubei. I'm not on Mason's list. Luke, you never cast. Like, you just sit there doing nothing. You never actually, like, talk about the game or whatever. Cast with me? Nah, I'm good. Da -da -da. Alright. So they have picked up Faceless Void on the side of Nouns as well as Phoenix. This is a pretty they have like a lot of team fight here. They have, like Nouns' draft is very like team fight heavy. Uh you got like the two big AOE ults there, you got Doom and like I would say you either have to like match Nouns or you have to circumvent them. And trying to match like egg, doom, chrono is hard, so the way to get around that is picking a hero that has like low cooldown. And like faster timings, right? Because the thing is, like, Doom faces Void Phoenix. This draft is really slow. Like, yeah, their late game is really good. Like, Lion skills incredibly well, too. But their early game is not so great. They kind of need lots of items, lots of levels. So they're going to pick Meepo here to try to circumvent this. And, uh. Mars, Meepo, Techie's Venge. No, I'm not, like, really feeling bad. the support duo here. I, I'm not a big fan of Techie's, to be honest. I think Venge is, like, very, very, very mediocre 5. Uh, I also don't really see like good swaps this game. I mean, I guess they avoid swap. I guess they have Venge swap for Chrono. That's pretty good. Defensively, it's not that bad. Um, Five seconds I really like Winter Ruin. That's that's a hero I like. I'm surprised he's is it banned? Yeah, it's banned. Okay, I was say I really like Winter. I think Winter Ruin's like on the on the up, on the come up. Uh, they banned Ursa bad. on the side of Nouns. That's a pretty good hero. Uh. Yeah, it's pretty good hero versus Faceless Void and Phoenix. It's like, it's not that great versus Doom, though, to be honest. I don't really like playing Ursa versus Doom because I feel like Doom is, like, too tanky. Uh, Five seconds like, uh, the thing is this. Like, if you play Ursa versus Doom, I feel like you kind of have to end the game super fast. If you do not end the game super fast and you let Doom get fat, like, you get super fucked, I feel. It's really hard. Because uh, Doom dispels too, right, then cast. So even if you get like off like Enrage and like Overpower and you're going to start whapping on someone, he just dispels your Overpower with Doom. And uh, Enrage is only like 50% status resistance, I think. So the Doom still lasts for like, I don't know, like 8 seconds, 9 seconds. It's still like very long. How long does Doom last anyways? It feels like it lasts forever, man. Guys, it's got to at least be 12 seconds. There's no way it's shorter than 12 seconds, right, guys? 16, yeah, I thought it was 18. I thought it was 18. It, it feels like 18, but it was 16. That makes more sense. Because like, 18 sounds like way too long. Okay, so 16 seconds. Yeah, so even if you get off Enrage, you're still doomed for 8 seconds. And that's if you get off the Enrage during the Doom. So you're just like walking in circles for almost 10 seconds. Um, but that's as though they are going to ban out Bloodseeker as well. I guess they're pretty convinced this is a mid Meepo. Heroic. Oh yeah, it's gotta be, because it's Analog. Duh, sorry, I thought Nouns was playing. I was like, Yuma plays the carry Meepo. But uh, Analog plays mid Meepo. And Hector plays carry, and there's no way Hector's gonna play Meepo. So this is definitely mid Meepo, that's why they're banning out the carries here. Puck banned on the side of Heroic. Um, I'm addicted to vasectomies, very nice. Uh, Puck banned on the side of Heroic. Yeah, need a mid laner on Nouns. I think Nouns kind of needs... Dire team pick. Oh, that was a great ban, ET. I think ET, like, mid would have been, like, crazy slapper. Uh, it would have been quite good. Because it just owes people, right? Because Meepo has, like, a bunch of agility, and you just remove it all, kind of. But also, you get a 5 quadrillion damage from Meepo. So, core ET is pretty good. Ten seconds remaining. Hero gonna pick a hero here. I don't... They need carry. Five seconds we have 5 seconds left. Uh, I mean, I would just pick Abaddon, no? It's free. Abaddon seems quite good here. I would just pick Abaddon. I'm not casting with you, Garg. Go fuck yourself. Nah, I'm just kidding, Garg. I love you, man. Chaos, Chaos Knight. This is... I'm... I'm pretty surprised they didn't pick Abaddon. I mean, can Lion Finger kill Abaddon? Ten seconds remaining. I don't know. I think Abaddon is good here. Five seconds remaining. But 
illusion hero is pretty good here. Uh, CK. It's also pretty up tempo. Like the thing about Faceless Void is this: like you want up tempo, but you also kind of want tanky. That's how you. That's how you like counter this kind of hero because he doesn't do really good damage until like probably level 20 or like around level 20. And if you pick like these like 3k HP heroes at 20 minutes, like Void isn't really ready to handle them. Uh, he kind of wants like Mjolnir or level 20 or something before he really gets like Kraken. And then like you probably want BKB as well. So you want like Mask like Mjolnir BKB. So that's uh, that's like not a 20 minute timing. Probably not even. Depends depending on your game, like maybe not even 25 minute timing. So these heroes like CK, if they get off to a decent start, they can kind of snowball the game. So I think Nouns really needs a hero that like keeps heroic in check. But the ET and Puck bands were pretty good. I don't think Quap is what you want to aim for here. Ah, I was gonna say, I think I think he's gonna pick Quap, but I don't think he wants to aim for it. Uh, Cause I'm really worried about Meepo just like shitting on his face. You know, this this Quap gets caught out one time. This Meepo gets like blink defusal. Quap's dead. Uh, like Quap can buy Yules, sure, but then you set yourself up for like, uh, you set yourself up for spear. You set yourself up for another net. You set yourself up for a uh, blast off. Like these like spells can like fly while you're in the air and land when you land or hit when you land. So buying Yules is gonna make him like very vulnerable. I feel even if he dispels in nets. I don't know, maybe he's going to go for staff, but then he's versus Mars, so I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Doesn't really do anything versus Mars. Uh, bro, he played ama amazingly on Quap. It has nothing to do with how he played, brother. Brother, he could literally be the best Queen of Pain in the fucking world. He's versus a Meepo, my friend. That is like, you don't understand. You are so stupid, bro. You're a literal monkey. What in the world? What in the world? What would you do if not for money, if not Dota and streaming? I would be a male gigolo, I think. I think women just find me irresistible, so I think I would do that. I think women would be banging on my door. Uh, just wouldn't be able to resist me, honestly, so. All right. Show abs? Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like flex too hard on people. Like I have a, I have a nasty 12 pack. I have a 12 pack, guys. Not a six pack, not an eight pack. A 12 pack, just absolutely ripped to the core. But I, I can't show it. I can't show it on stream, guys. It would, uh, it would be way too X-rated or whatever. So can't do that. Hello. Who is this? Hey. Ritsu? Oh, it's Luki. Good gracious. What do you mean? I'm trying to. Provide my great insights on this patch, this match. You don't even play Dota. When was the last time you queued a game? You're just bringing up my my wrist problems, huh? Yeah, I thought it was pretty nice to you. And you were having problems with your with your back and arm, but all right. I asked when the last time, because you're trying to like say things like, "What is your credentials to being on this cast? What is your you credentials, sir?" Uh, I got shit on by Meepo before. Uh. I, I'm a Mars specialist, actually. Oh, I I no, let's ignore that. everything Luke is saying right now, and let's continue to cast the game. What we have here, we have a smoke gun, smoke action here. Looks like Analog leading the charge for his team. Guardian has a ward, may drop it down here any second. The Doom Gunner playing the Doom, guys. He's now an offlaner. For those of you who don't know, Stormstorm with the mid quap here. We have Fly on Phoenix. He betrayed his, turned his back on Shart Squeezy, and look at Shart Squeezy now. Sharten in last place in this tournament. Oh, Gunner gets sniffed out here. Hector, go ahead and go. Oh, we got the Sticky coming out. A five-man gank onto Gun Zhao. Hector a little dangerous just kidding switching off the aggro left and right everything like oh divide llama taking the last hit what in the world what in the world divide llama dangerously low but gonna get out with the first blood let's check out those net worth now looking pretty at 1026 is he fairing himself out of salve or what is he doing storm stormer scream level one omega bald mode it seems i have to move my cam sorry about that guys uh, let's move it here. Sorry, sorry. Boom, boom. Okay, looks like Hector died here. I missed that, but that's okay. Doesn't really matter. I'm sure he wanted to die. It's Hector, guys. He has Midas queued up. Interesting. I don't know if he'll follow that. Schofield getting gone on here. Another kill, maybe for the side of now. It's, it's a big kill. Fly with a double kill. Ka-ching, ka-ching for my Israelite brother. From another Israelite mother. All right, money in the bank. The the the. What are the Hogwarts goblins called? 
the gremlin goblins what are they what are they called what is the what is the goblins the green green galt's goblins green 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 vault goblins what is it what are they called oh gringotts yes gringotts goblins easy for the gringotts goblins my friend Probably last stream, actually? How is that a last stream? I called him an Israelite. How is that a bad thing? That's literally where he's from. What in the world are you talking about, my friend? What in the world? It's not a country. Where the hell is Israel, then? Country in the Middle East. What, are you guys crazy? What are you guys talking about? I'm here, guys. Do you want, you want me to save him? Israel. 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 Is country in the middle is Israel. Israel, officially the state of Israel, is a country in West Asia. It is bordered by Lebanon to the north and Syria to the south and Jordan to the east and to the Red Sea to the south. Egypt to the south. Jesus Christ, they really listen off everything. And the Palestinian territories. Got, and the West Bank and along the East Gaza Strip. Along the southwest. Tel Aviv. Okay, I'm just, what are you guys talking about? Israel is Israel a country? Israel, All right, uh... the only Jewish nation in the world, is a small country on the eastern shore of the Mediterranean Sea. What are you guys like waffling about? I don't get it. All right. Anyways. Mid lane, analog. Let's check out the last hits. Looks like they're doing pretty even. I mean, Meepo's kind of hero where he doesn't really do anything until he gets like two Meepos and then he starts cooking a bit. I think it's level four, right? It's level four. Uh, level four, Mason. Oh, thanks for the stats there, Luke. I appreciate <laughs> that, man. Throwing it nice Dude, I, I don't really don't like this pop pick, Mason. I think you were talking about it, but it's like, I don't know how it's much better than an Ember Spirit. Like, you, Meepo's like a known Ember counter or Spirit counter. And I don't think Stormstormer, is he good enough that he can make up for that? I don't think so. But I think he loves this hero in Arc, right? So, you want it? Why didn't you just pick Batrider? Isn't Batrider good with Meepo or something? Uh, I think it's just preference. Maybe he just looked at his hero pool and he just didn't have anything. He could have picked I'm like Timbersaw. Sure. I think Timbersaw is good versus Meepo. Has been yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Like, how is Mars just all of a sudden super popular again? Like, how is Mars popular again? I don't know. He, yeah. just, he just presses a stun button. Top lane, we have Smash here. Oh, a little bit of a suicide into Lelis Brazilian on Brazilian action. And KJ with K1 take him down. KJ plus K1. KJ plus K1. A little easy champ for the boys in dark green. That gave the Brazilian flag waving proud there. Analog and TP, one of his meeples back to base for each Boys beat Gunner in the top lane. K1 not ending this aggression. TP, though, by Lelis coming in here. Effigy guy, as some people affectionately know him as. KJ looking a little. Ooh, squeaking out just barely, but Hector is really low as well. This is not a good position for Dyer to be in. Hector's gonna try to get some resources, try to. Lelis is playing way too sus sussy right now. Lelis needs to run through the wave and stun him. But this is very cringe gameplay from Lelis. Very cringe gameplay from Lelis. Wow, that was cringe. Hector gonna try to. I'd be scared. What? What? No, I mean... <laughs> What's going on? What are you saying? No, I was just saying he'll just get stunned and die, Mason. Who will? Lelis with four HP yeah. Hector with 100 HP. Interesting, interesting call there, Luki Luki. Interesting call. Alright, uh... Back to the game at hand here. We have... Yuma... Doing pretty fucking poorly bottom, if I do say so myself. 13 CS at 4 minutes and 30 seconds. One, the squirrel. A bit of a squirrel W, if you will, good gentle sires of the Eastern Persuasion. Fly playing his signature hero here. Playing a mean Phoenix. Oh, looping in, and he could be. No, he's fine, he's fine. Oh, top lane, K1 tipping Stormstormer. What's that all about? Oh, Stormstormer making a rotation at 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Look at that. Gotta let one rip really quick, because that was insane. Schofield and Davai Lama in one lane. You didn't think you'd see this one day. It's a crazy combo. Lelis getting gone to the top lane here. Yo, thanks for something. I'm going to turn that off, though, real quick, so we can focus on the game at hand, brother. Uh, 
Top lane, Analog making rotation, and Lelis could go down. This is what I'm talking about. This Meepo is no heckin' joke. Garino saving the stun is Hector, waiting for his team to get close enough. He doesn't want Gunner to TP before his team is ready to play. Bottom lane as well, Yuma taking out Divide Lama, caught the tail end of that. KJ with a double kill in the top lane. Action all around, looks like... <laughs> Gofield could be going out as well, but he's going to get out with the skin of his teeth. Analog level 6. Ah, topping the net worth chart. Very farmed already. Throwing the net onto... Oh, with Lelis there backing up Stormstormer. He's able to become A-OK. -okay. Going for the runes is Analog. Let's check this out. Oh, easy shield rune for the Brazil. There's actually a lot of Brazilians in this game. Analog is Brazilian, KJ is Brazilian, Lelis is Brazilian, that's three Brazilians, return of Brazilian Dota, Arriba! Am I right, Lukey Lukey, am I right? Hey, Mason. Arriba, I think that's accurate. Lukey Lukey, let, tell, tell me what, did you ever hit on any of the Brazilian girls in the scene, be honest with me. Like, come on, just be honest for one second. This is like not an on-stream topic. Okay, so I'll take those, yes. How many? One? Greater than five? Greater than ten? Oh, yeah, goodness it's gracious. It's a lot, of, two. Yeah. a lot of victims, eh? A lot of Lukey Lukey victims in the chat, eh? That's okay. Uh, looks like Lelis could be getting gone here. Analog making a little rotation. Storms from a being. Oh, that was an aggressive blink. He doesn't have rune, right? That's... Oh, just barely. He didn't have the mana or the Scream CD just yet. Analog did not want to commit his other Meepo. I feel like maybe if he committed his other Meepo, couldn't he just kill them? But I don't know. It's a fish. I don't know Meepo really works. Yo, it's the big R dog, AK Rodeo in the chat. Just watching some Dota 2. Brazilians, Peruvians, Europeans, all in one game. Yeah, this is a really great NA game. Yep, great. Like I mean, to be fair, this Americans is a North America and South America qualifier, so... That's true, that's true. Divide Llama has level 6. They have three They have three stuns. Divide Llama lets it rip. It could be a kill here. Not gonna throw out the arena because he doesn't have the mana, looks like, and down he goes. Easy clap rotation from King Jungles, aka KJ. This is the Hector vs. Gunner in the top lane, playing World of Warcraft. One Chad Dota player versus World of Warcraft Sawyer. Not nah, guys, we gotta get my world buffs. All right, Mason, relax. What does he? Oh, he's just rushing in Ags. Interesting. I thought you go Defusal first, but maybe versus Doom he wants Ags. I'm not sure. It is a pretty good Ags game, just because you can avoid the uh, Chrono and the Doom. I feel like I see people just go Diffusal first regardless though, because it's just like so powerful at like... Uh... Yeah, it's either like, you either rush a Diffusal, or you go like, Dragonlance Blink. But he probably just really wants an Ags, like he actually cannot die if his max, and he like keeps his main Meepo away. True. Very true. Valve don't know how to balance heroes. 65% win rate, by the way. Yeah, Meepo is pretty heckin' strong arena, for sure. I mean, Disperser definitely makes a hero god here. That's sure. like, yeah, I mean, it's like one of the many things that, like, I mean, if a hero has 65% win rate, you, like, can't point it to one thing. Like, everything about it is just stupid. It's true. The only Super build I, I was ever afraid of on Meepo though was the Disperser build. Before, when people would go other builds, it seemed like they kind of like ran out of juice or something. Like he was like killable. But with Disperser, he's just unkillable because he has Dig, Ags, and Disperser. He got a lot of buffs too. Like they made uh, Poof do more damage and they buffed his Poof Talon as well. Top lane, throwing right down the Doom and the Quapple to kill K1. Two ults used. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yuma, pretty poor, man. 3k now worth of 10 minutes. This is not where you want to be in the video game as a carry player. Divai Lama just too goaded, I guess. I mean, to be fair, he also has some Phoenix 5. That shit is like mega stinky in lane. King Jungle's going on Gunner here. Analog throwing up the net. He's gonna have another Reaper coming in. Boom, boom, boom. Down he goes. 
Storm Stormer is looking to retreat as well, going Mage Slayer as his first item. Seeing a shift uh, towards Mage Slayer on mids seems like a very good mid item. It gives them like an extra regen, gives them an extra tankiness. It's like a really nice item to supply on multiple heroes. Makes them do way less damage. Yeah, it's a nice item on everybody. Damn, did you see that? The Vi Llama Mars Giga Chad player? That was crazy. He was like through the spear like... I don't even understand how that, ha how that worked. He like bugged the shit out of it. The way it works is like... If the spear is going to latch... Like to the tower for example, but you use your W, it's still gonna latch. It just looks weird. It, it makes the travel time go away though. He got stunned instantly I think. But maybe not. Maybe it was uh, just a visual thing. Kind of looked like he got yeah, yeah. instantly. It's the same time, it just looks different. But yeah, that was really nice. And Devi's chill, he's got the safety bubble. Best neutral item in the game. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, Royal Jelly's kind of nice too. Dyer's top tower. It's very, uh... Jelly's fine, but safety bubble is just amazing. It's so good. Five HP regen. Yeah, all these like uh, all these like regems just seem like way better than their counterparts now. Like, oh, bottom lane with some action. Oh, missing the blast off is King Jungles, just barely. Meepo has Ags now. It's coming to him on the courier, I think. So he's ready to fight. He's feeling pretty strong. What is what is Shitnar up to these days? Oh yeah, he has a veil. He's collapsing on mid lane. Looks like they want to collapse on mid lane here. Storm Stormer doesn't have a lot of mana though, so he can't like throw out all of his spells. Analog mid lane here, they're gonna throw out the stun. Will they? Oh, the Mega Meepo! Easy clap, goodbye! Mega Meepo, you cannot yep. kill me! Broken, oh, the egg comes out balanced, though. by the way. Yeah, very balanced. Meepo is sitting at full HP and just laughing about it. Divine Llama throwing out the arena, making sure Fly can't get away. And 4k net worth lead here for Heroic. Ah, uh, Mega Meepo, eh, brother? What can you do? It is actually so illogical that it works that way, though. Like, you have to doom the fucking real one, apparently. Like, this, this hero is four heroes when it wants to be, and one hero when it doesn't want to be. I don't know. Man, I don't know, like, Meepo just has so many outs now, right? Because he has, like, Dig, and he has Ags, and he has Disperser. This hero is just, like, disgusting. He's like, you you used to be able to, like, oh, we're just going to cleave him down. Like, good luck with that now. Like, good, good fucking luck. I mean, any one of these abilities on their own would be really good, but definitely, like, all three is just ridiculous. Like, they need to get rid of Mega Meepo, I think. Or at least change the way it works. Because it's just, like, it's such a brain-dead get-out-of-jail-free card. Oh, you got Reaper Scythe, or Chronoed, or Doomed, or whatever? Nope. Just press D. E. Lol. Oh, Meepo's balance, guys. Bottom lane, Divai Llama pushing in the tower. I mean, this looks like a very, uh, you know, balanced draft for this really teamfight heavy lineup, but the, the downside is, is, of course, that they have really, like, they take a long time to get on. It's a very slow tempo. Void needs like items and levels, Doom kind of needs items and levels, Phoenix is like a great scaling support with like an item or two and like level two or three egg and shard or whatever, but like he needs all these items and this timing and as a five it takes so long for him to like become very effective, so I don't know, they just picked this Meepo, they have like CK, Mars, these heroes need like one item and they just like, they just like push and run at you. We'll see though, yeah. if, if now it's gonna like stave them off then there is a chance, but right now it's it's pretty much going how it should, this draft. Yeah, Dyer need to throw like three times, because Void's game is really ruined. Well, Hector could be throwing right here. Oh, never mind, they smoked two him through the gate. They're gonna find, oh, Fly is invis here. Okay, he's not smoked. Just scouting it, broke their smoke. Meepo has defusal now, I think. Yep. Vlad's on Mars. Mars on Vlad's. They see the aura. So Lo should know he's here. Divai Llama has the ward though. So he'll see him before Lo sees him. Top lane, sorry, I didn't see that. The gunner going down. Apparently an analog in the mid lane killing Storms. I just missed everything because I was busy watching bottom. What in the world? How did, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it just doesn't matter. Like, I don't know why you'd pick Quap and Amiibo. It's so, like, weird. 
one net and you're dead. And like, you don't want to build force and definitely don't want to build yules. I don't know. Seems like a strange idea. Yeah, I didn't see the draft. I don't understand the co-op against people either, but I'm not really like familiar with that. Bottom lane, oh, Meepo going on the U, but he's gonna get the Doom out. He got the Doom out of the real one, so no Mega Meepo. He's gonna walk it off, shake it off. Why not? What the fuck? Just run away. Cool. Middle tower is under what can attack. you do? It's a uh, two, 160 second cooldowns, I believe. Chrono's 160, and Doom is 140. Yeah, it's two two minute cooldowns down, and these heroes don't really do anything outside their cooldowns, so however Meepo wants to abuse the map, he's gonna do. Storm, Storm, farming under award. Meepo gonna go Disperser next, standard stuff here. Curious to see, I mean, he probably gets a blink next, but maybe not. After the Disperser. Storm, Storm, oh, he blinked out the last second. Just he's getting stunned. I can't believe Hector bought a Midas in CK. That's wild. It's really weird. Hector has like a weird way of playing Dota. I can't say I really agree with that. It seems like really outdated. But he wins games, so. I think it's okay. Some guy in my chat said he picked Quabzi Sump the last two games with. I mean, you have to understand, like, it's mid Meepo. Like, you know, that's great that he's, like, great at Quab. Like, good for him. But, you know, there's other heroes in the game that you have to, like, think about. But, uh, I, just, I just don't see how Quab can ever play into Meepo. It's just, uh, like, you don't want to rush BKB in this patch, like, ever on any hero. It doesn't really feel great. Um, they even, if he goes Kaya Sange, it won't matter. Like, there's, like, four Meepos. He's, <laughs> he's gonna spam nets on you, man. I don't know. But you're gonna get chain stunned to death, bro. They have like they have like uh, Divai Lama. He has a blink down on Mars. They have CK. They have they have literally have five stuns. Like this Kai Sage won't matter at all. He's gonna get stunned to die. So I'm not really sure why you pick Quap into five stuns. A little silly. Aegis on Meepo. Disperser almost done. Really close. Gunner went back for a Midas. No Shiva's just yet. Yuma has 5.7k that worth of 8 minutes, 18 minutes. Dude, whenever I watch Yuma, he just like, he just like, he's just blowing ass. Like, I don't know. Is there something I... Is there something like I don't get about this guy? I don't know. I don't really watch him that much, but I don't remember him being anything special. No, he's I kind of lost every lane this game, though, so... Just didn't feel good. Quap throws out the ult just to save herself. Luke, you have anything to say, man? The chat wants to hear from you. What's going on there? Any, any insight, my friend? They're just getting stomped. Like, I don't know. There's nothing to say. Yuma had a rough game because his lane kind of sucked ass, and usually he performs. Usually he gets, like, a shit ton of farm. Like, I've, I usually see him win, like, results-wise. So... They just pick Quap or the Meepo. I'm not seeing anything special. Very, very nice, Luffy. I agree completely. There is nothing special going on here. It's just a stomp. But this is just like, this is just your classic NA dotes, man. Games are just over at 20 minutes. I don't know if this is what's happening in Europe, because uh, I wake up at like noon or 11. The game's like over by then, but that's pretty classic NA dotes here, brothers. So what have you been up to, Lukey, man? Have you been going on dates and stuff? Like, what, what are you doing with your free time away from the computer? I've been trying to. Uh, been trying to? Well. well, yeah, it's like you go on dates, so, but it's hard to... It's hard to know if you're with the right person, right? You have to tell yourself that you're not settling or anything. Or you're meeting people and with the first intention of dating where it's nice to your friends first. There's so many, so many struggles with that. Also, yeah, that's it. Recently, I damaged my my parents' car. That was fun. How did you damage your parents' car? What what happened there? I, I broke the door. I, I backed up and I left the door open when I backed up. How the fuck you do that? 
real question. Maybe he was uh, uh, trying to, maybe he had a lady in his car or something, taking her home. Nah, he distracted. I, I just, uh, it was Christmas, we were going to my grandparents. We are going to take two cars, but then we took one. I see. Well, did, did, did they make you pay for it? Yeah. What was the what was the damage? How much is a broken door? Did you like smack the door? Did the door like come off? Or did you like really slam slam the rear? Yeah, it wouldn't close. It kind of got levered against my garage, but it was a fourteen hundred dollar mistake. Oh, nice. That's good. Well, at least you have a job, right? Do you, are you working? You're working, right? Yep. Software engineering. Gotta love it. I've always been working, Mason. Yep. Making those big running. banks. Big banker man here. Seven figures salary. Working for Google, right? That's what I heard. Uh, Google's actually overrated. Uh, same with all those other big tech companies. I think people don't realize that. No one wants to work there. Now that's fucking coke. You know it's not cope though. Fucking lion shard. What in the world is wrong with this thing? Yeah, it kind of owns. Kind of his owns is like the massive understatement of the year. What a disgusting shard. What a literal disgusting shard. Your so man is just entirely gone. Didn't he always have this? Like, what? Why is lion just randomly picked all the time and everyone's whining? The mana drain does damage now. This one made him really good. Yeah. Man, does damage. Look at him. He just like he just like tanks that shit too. Like out of these, like Lil's just solo killed the Meepo basically. I mean, to be fair, Meepo kind of wanted to die, but. All right. Well, high ground Dota is in effect. This is something I've noticed lately. Like high grounding is as cancer as it's ever been, man. I don't even know. I don't even like fully understand why. It's just so fucking cancer to go high ground right now. I don't know, people are just like, more like, they don't die outside of the base as much, they don't get that like 45, or like what the deal is, but... It just seems like just really annoying It takes a while. And like, when you do that, there's so much math that people just get a lot of space out of it. The effigy guy. <laughs> yep, that is what he is known by, the effigy guy. <laughs> Oh, what can you do, boys? What can you do when Lelis runs at you? Analog building a sheep next. Orchid almost done on Hector. No blink on him, though. I mean, this game is literally just like them. They're just going to farm the map and get some like bigger lead, and they're going to like casually pick people out with like uh, analog and... Uh, Whatever. What now it's supposed to do is this. They have to like, they have to bait someone and hope that like, I don't know, like Hector or Analog or someone gets caught with their pants down. There's only like two people there or something. They're trying like this two-man cute gank. They're trying it now. They're trying to be the aggressor. They have swap though, so ideally they would like. Okay, they get the Chrono, but the swap is gonna come in potentially. Gunner, they're gonna doom the swap out before it can happen. The BKB does come out on K1. The K1 throws out the stun on to Yuma. Yuma, gonna get it. the Quapple comes in and takes out Hector. The mana drain. Oh, 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 no, he can't play. He can't play because he has no mana. Where's Analog? Analog is ratting in the top lane, it looks like. He's gonna force someone back, but he's also gonna send the main Beepo into the fight. Gonna try to chase them down potentially. Analog searching, hunting, finds a little fly. Fly is gonna go down here to the Meepo, and also Gunner gets caught. I think he was trying to TP, his long TP. They just catch him. Man, yeah, that was... fucked up there. Should just manned up. What a fucking pussy. Dude, I thought that was Bulba at first. Good lord. Like, what the hell is that? Okay, well, you just, you just resulted me as much as you could. What's, are you like Go using on. a webcam, Mike? What's going on there? No. Oh. Just, uh, Things be rough, you know. Since you have your job, no, no job. You're yeah, buff. no job. Like, therefore, your mic quality is instantly gets dog shit. That's, <laughs> that is how things work, Mike. Does make sense. The fucking unemployment, Mike. Do you watch? Do you watch these teams, uh, Moon? Or not really? Kinda, like, don't really care. It's so low skill games. Yeah, it Everyone's is very low skill. So fucking bad. Like this team's just gonna qualify to get last place. I'm looking at. Lance. 
That's so dirty. many holes everywhere. That's dirty to say, my friend. That's dirty. I mean, I can say whatever I want now. I'm fucking. I'm not. I don't. I'm not bound by a contract anymore. You know what I'm saying? Uh, can let it rip. Moon Unchained. Yeah, go bring back the never ever. Without, without the fucking face this point is no mask of madness. Just fucking figure it out already. It's a mills from the BKB. Where's this fucking damage gonna come from? The I fuck is this guy thinking? Ritsu who's, said, who's this thing in Discord saying nobody goes mask of madness? That was Ritsu because Nightfall did it like one time. <laughs> yeah. Ritsu, oh my, you guys take Ritsu at face value, I'm done. This guy doesn't play pro Dota at all. Dude, it's just funny because, like, you know he's serious, like, and then he says something stupid, he acts like he's not serious, but he definitely is. Mom you need Mom Mjolnir, you need Mom Mjolnir BKB this game. On face of Void, and then you can test Storm Impact. Now it's just fucking Storm Stormer versus the world. I'm not gonna Classic. lie, Storm Stormer is actually, like, really farmed. Like, yeah, really fucking farmed. He, He's good items. He's Mage Slayer. He's got Shiva. This guy knows. I guess he's European. It's uh, a little bit smart. I know this guy's like six foot five. They're like he's like not Giga six... Brain and Gigi's. He's Stormtrooper. pretty tall. I don't know if he's six five though. Yeah. He's like half a head shorter than Puppy, so I don't think he's six five. Yeah. But... Is... Oh man, Lelis is playing Lion. Pack it up. Pack it up. Lelis needs to hit creep. This guy's like a bot four. This guy only hits creeps. Why is he whoa, playing whoa, Lion? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's relax. The allegations here, my friend. Oh, okay, let's relax all right, all right. the allegations. I'm just gonna. Uh, I don't care anymore. You know, I'm a hinge. When you bomb you, you just fucking unhinge. Let's see. Meepo has dispersed it. This guy knows. This guy has giga brain. Whichever, whoever plays carry in this role in 2024. And still doesn't buy this disperse item, you actually brain damage. Go swap rolls. What should they play if they don't buy disperser? What is the what is the low skill roll? What is the stupid man's roll? Stupid man's roll this patch? Position five. Just play Chen or Venge just, and save your teammates. That's it. That's it. I feel like three is way dumber. You just pick a fucking annoying hero like Viper and you buy Mage Slayer. Yeah, that works too. Like, you just buy mage. I don't, and you know what's crazy to me? Mid, mid laners, this patch, I've, I've seen like some qualifiers, like they're picking like Bounty Mid and Monkey King Mid. Like, do they even not read the patch notes? You don't know how OP Mage Slayer is, how OP Witch Blade is? Maybe you had to like play Ember, buy Mage Slayer. Pick no, no, Tango, no, buy Mage Slayer. Monkey Mid, but they do go Mage Slayer. They go like Phase, Corrosion, Diffusal, Mage Slayer. I actually saw Europeans do it today in their uh, competitive game. A team that's out of the tournament, I saw, they, you know, they didn't really do that, you know, so... They had Ursa Monkey King, you know, you know which team it is. Alright, relax. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a Shopify dig. Sorry, they should just made, they should have picked Slark, so they have Monkey King, Ursa, Slark, you know what I'm saying? It's complete the trackle. You never go half, you gotta go full retard. I mean, if we're gonna go back to what they should have done, they should have picked better players first. Then the heroes would come naturally. High ground is being pushed here. Alright, Hector is going in trying to slap up Lelis. Lelis is not hitting creeps, so he's gonna die. Oh man, Stormstormer looks like he could be going down, but the Sunray keeping him alive. Huge Sunray, big pop up fly out here. Does Yuma still have a Chrono to use it in the back line? This is kind of a decent fight. No Doom, doomed up Divide Llama in the back. He does have a cheese when this runs out. The Drain coming out, Disperser trying to get him to run away, but what is going on here? A Trace Dose Dose in the building, mayhaps? Oh, but the real Meepo was all the way in the back, so he's gonna be okay. Yeah. A little bit of a trace, those dose in the building. They have, they haven't lost a single Rax, by the way. They use literally. Oh my God, yeah, Gunner's like playing game. way too far out. I feel he's gonna go down. What is Guntard doing? Guntard now, sh sheep up. Oh, but the Sun Ray, easy champ, beautiful by Fly, blinding them. And Divine Lava has no mana, but he doesn't have the cheese, he's gonna throw it out. Lelis, since he could be going down, does have the finger, may decide to use it before he goes down. And Divine Lava goes down! <laughs> what the hell is happening in this game? A Trace Dose Dose, one for the fucking ages here, boys. KJ getting chased down by Stormstormer and Yuna. Is Stormstormer the truth? Is this guy the truth? Is he Paul Pierce? 34 he is, he on his fucking he is, chest. He is. The 6 foot 5, 500 pound German right here, Giga Chad. 1v9ing. Gunner shitting his pants. Yuma is like, okay, whatever, he just sees just a chronosphere. His Meepo is doing work though, but his team is kind of, kind of, how do I say it? Kind of dumb, like. Does Mars not know what Lion's mana drain is? Did he really just spear ma uh, ma Lion mana draining him in the face? He's go going golden and let me spear him. That's his brain. That's his thought process. Nice, good one. The Sunray is really ruining Meepo. Like, yeah, it is. Really... Somebody, he just gets Sunray and he yeah. can't, like. 
can. Yeah, they need to they need to use the Aegis to jump the Phoenix. Oh, Hector needs to jump the Phoenix. Hector needs to blink Blackthorn. Yeah, I mean Hector's item build is the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean Hector has awful item builds. He's like really bad at building items. I feel. He's going to oh, Lincoln. He's so. by Lincoln's. I'm oh, fucking he's, dumb. He's, he's the worst yeah. item builder in Dota, I think. I honestly. blink Bloodthorn. He should. You know the L game. He could have. He should have won that game. He went even disperser. The item was so trash. Disperser uses Eagle Horn. It's the agility item for agility hero, and he's buying on fucking Alchemist. Alchemist is a blink stun hero. He needs to blink, so he needs swift blink, and he's Bloodthorn for damage. Even Artur knows what itemize on the Alchemist. Even Artur, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. What I was mean, that about right there? I, I don't know. You know, it came out wrong. Even Artur, I heard what I heard. No need to burn the bridge. I mean, he owned an Alchemist, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he just in the Jug game. He just ended up on the Ursa for some reason. For since Ember. The... Clip it and send it to our tour, guys. Alright, we have a BKB on Stormstorm right now. And uh, Yuma has a Majolnir, so he's gonna crank out some damage finally. Things are looking pretty hard for Heroic. I think this game was really easy, but Hector, I feel, built really bad items. He just hasn't been a factor at all in this game after having a relatively free lane. And I'll give him all the space in the world. Then again, uh, I mean, CK is not the greatest hero, but these item choices are not helping him at all. I feel like Dyer just needs one fight where the Mars actually like goes in and initiates, because he's kind of been playing like a bitch like the last three fights. He's just it's hard. In the back. If he initiates a Phoenix, then it's good, because Doom is BKB, faces void. He's like good positioning, Quap's good positioning. He can go on a lion, I guess, but it's just a lettuce, you know? Who cares? I feel like going on he needs to jump the Phoenix. Though. Yeah, it's, it's probably the second best. Phoenix is like, like the best. Phoenix, if he jumps the Phoenix and kills the Phoenix with the sheep on the Meepo, I think they win this fight. But That's what the Meepo needs to do. He's just sitting like three screens back, but he doesn't have to be that close. He's just playing smart. Yeah. Like he, was sitting, at, he was sitting at the tier fours when they were pushing the uh, high ground. There's no way you can jump that. You'll just die. It is Fly Doto. This guy's freaking patient as a motherfucker. He's gonna dig tunnels, yeah. hide himself. <laughs> Dude, the tunnel shit was so crazy, I can't believe it. Holy man. I honestly thought it was like some AI story or something. Somebody wrote on AI and just trolled everybody. Holy shit. Yuma 3 man Chrono out of nowhere, Yuma God! We have the egg in the back of the egg, we'll go down to analog, big strong from our ult, he's gonna throw out the Mega Beepo. Spear completely whips Hector, trying to find a target, trying to find someone to go on, and this looks like a bit of a disastrous fight. Analog sniping the Phoenix, making him a non-factor. And easy I'm saying, Take that fucking Phoenix, jump to Phoenix, he dies, game over. If they kill Phoenix, they cannot win a fight on, on against Dire's heroes. Phoenix is just like, too important. They jump Phoenix, sheep the bitch, fly the buyback, they should all disengage immediately, but they decided to fight and stand their ground, so they all died. Without the Phoenix, that pieces of shit. The fight would've gone different if he didn't throw another quap. That really hurt. They had no damage. Are they crow the quap in the back line? Yeah. Yuma trying to go in, start something here. Basically, it's swapped out by Schofield. The Sunray is just absolutely melting. I don't know what Fly is making this hero look like kind of nasty right now. But then again, that is Phoenix. He just needs a little bit of time, a little bit of item. He's shard. It's a master tier Phoenix. He knows what he's doing. It's the Amar rule. Stormstormer. Yeah. Master tier, push. huh? I don't know. That Grandmaster tier faces Blood Crone his teammate. I don't know about that one. He has a white faces void, too. Yeah. I, I don't even know. How, how do you get this? You need to win 100 games? I don't remember what it is. I don't even have the Arcana, I'm pretty sure, so I have no idea. I don't think it's that hard to get, but you do need to play a bit. The white face. Yeah, he has white face on, guys. What can you do? You oh, got <laughs> You still ahead of the meta. One day, white people will be the minority. Mark my words. And using white face will be considered racist. Meepo basically maxed out. He can get a, uh, I mean, get a swift blink and eat his eggs and get something else, but it's pretty much done. Mm. I mean, Yuma level 20 plus another item, whatever he feels he needs, is like a really big timing because he'll have plenty of damage. Oh my God, Storms are blinking in, but he has to pop the PKB right away. He has to be very careful. Yeah, he's gonna have to run away and kind of blink out after this. Oh, but he's gonna die to analog. I don't know what the hell he blinked forward for. That was so weird. What? Oh, no, Tom Stormer. That's why you got kicked from Entity, boys. Yep. Doing random shit like that, minute 35. Come on, bro. Can't be doing that kind of useless stuff. This had to late in the game. 
This guy's going Manta style? Minute 35? Where's his damage gonna come from? Dude, this guy just buys one good item and goes back to one more bad item. I'm done. He needs damage, like... Like, ASAP. Space is void. He needs, dis he needs a dis disperser first, before the Manta. What's he gonna do? Wait, I actually don't know from? what he could even buy that's gonna move the noodle. Disperser. Best DPS item in the game. Quop has buyback, so what's gonna happen is they're gonna look for a good chrono here. He's gonna throw out the buyback, but really need they need a fat ass fucking chrono. They use the mega beepo. This is decent. Hector split pushing though, applying pressure in all lanes, making it hard for Yuma to find a good jump. Ours is going down. The pressure is mounting. They need to kind of deal with this a little bit. I would be surprised if they just give up all the racks and Storm doesn't buy back. We'll see. I think they need to take three range racks this year. Or maybe the mid top melee. I don't think they, they ever will commit. lose at least one melee rack. Top lane, Hector BKBing. Very soy, but his space in the bottom lane. Storms are buying back with literally five seconds left. He's gonna throw out the, the corner, he's gonna hit, but they don't have no mega people, so he should go down. Finger coming out if necessary, not needed. So down goes. Analog divide is gonna TP out. They did get the top racks in the meantime on Hector. I, that was a. I mean, they should have just tried. I mean, that was weird. I mean, that was not worth it. Storms were no, not worth back it. Like ten years ago. He's the buyback. Still play. lost the racks. Yeah. I didn't like that play from Dire still though, because I don't think that Meepo should have committed there for that melee racks. Roche should be up, so that Roche is more important than one stupid racks. The top racks was dead already to Hector, so just take the top racks back off Roche. Now this buyback can only be salvaged with uh, Roche. If they don't get Roche on Radiant, that's, then it's really bad for them. They need to get Roche. This guy's gonna buy Manta. Isn't he? Oh my god. I don't think they have enough time to get Roche. But he's buying Just... Lincolns. Ah, the casual 35 minute Yasha. Genius. I've never seen this before. This guy's way ahead. Of me. This is good. They don't have BKB and Divide Llama. Divide Llama could be a lot of trouble. He's gonna get sucked up, but the swap does come out. Scofield probably gonna go down for this, but that's okay. He has eggs. And Hector getting nice Lincolns. Hector, you fucking retard. Try building a real aim in 2024. It looks like Divide Llama could be going down as well. It's a big W for the side of now. It's crypto funding the world terrorism organizations, but they are also supporting Dota 2, ladies and gentlemen. Roshan is up as Moon Meander pointed out. We will see how this one goes down. They're gonna walk in there out. There's simply no way that Heroic can respond to this, so they're just gonna give up Rosh. This is big. Oh, as Ags as well, the third Rosh. This is a juicer, boys. We got a juicer in the chat. All they needed to do was sit behind, sit around that shrine, and then play around that ward they have in lane, and then don't force the fight. Roach is spawning, play around Roach. Why did they take a random team fight without their strongest Mega Meepo? Oh, what is the one that the hex coming out one from One of these teams gonna go to Dubai? So again, oh, I think he's... Oh, he got the cheese. Yeah, I, was, I saw the cheese on the ground. But it's not that big of a deal. Cheese is whatever. It's mainly the eggs and oh, the eggs. Yeah. So who got eggs? I was gonna say, yeah, I think you give it the faceless void. Definitely give it to void. This looks like a really good... Yeah, versus Meepo void. especially. And, uh, CK just stun all the illusions for a little bit. Yeah. Alright, void point Lincoln Sphere. Yep. I don't know about that one again. Maybe he's just worried him? about like getting swapped or getting like. I mean, the, uh, I mean you're, you're, like, you're like being really critical on him, but isn't this what a lot of voids do? A lot of voids just build three defensive items. Like you'll see Nightfall do this. You'll see like aggressive voids do this. All they care about is like getting off that good chrono and not getting first, right? Because if you, like late game man, if you get off like a nice two three man chrono, like probably gonna win the fight if it's a juicer. So Hector getting gone in the mid lane. Stormstorm looks like he's gonna be okay. All the illusions are down now. Hector is the one in trouble. Popping the BKB. The Vile going to throw out spear, but he goes. Oh, fly burst at the last second. The Mega Meeple comes out. This is a dog shit ass fucking chrono. It could be one of the worst chronos of all time. Hector getting chased down by Yuma. Yuma looking for more. Stormstormer blinking at the last second. Stormstormer has the Aegis, has the BKB backline. They're going to doom the Mega Meepo. Returning is Yuma and Stormstormer. Mega Meepo, he's in trouble. Looks like he's going to go down an analog. Oh, but not before Gunner's getting taken out. Oh, the Disperser comes out! Balanced item, boys! We got a balance item in the chat right now. Looks, yes, he's gonna go down. Yuma tanking everything up. The Chad Lincoln's build, boys. Giga Chad, I buy 37 minute <laughs> Lincoln's. Oh, he Yuma gonna be in trouble. So much work. Oh, little zip zip. He doesn't. Oh, it doesn't clip. Does he not have shard? Oh, it's just barely out of range. Yuma juking and jiving. He's like a Jamaican doing the Zimbabwe. Strong Stormer looks like he's gonna take out the Vi Llama here. Lelis! Oh man, one of the greatest Brazilians of all time along with HFM. 
does it. Did again. you just say he's a Brazilian doing a Zimbabwe? What the fuck does that mean? I think I say he's a Jamaican, Jamaican doing Zimbabwe. Doing Zimbabwe. Get it right, man. Yeah, Jamaican doing a Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a freaking country. It's like saying a Danish doing a Sweden. What yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's Africa shit right there. Whoa. Wait, is Jamaica in Africa? Holy no, shit. No, Jamaica's uh, in the Caribbean. Oh, oops. Zimbabwe's in Africa. Oh, my bad, guys. I thought Jamaica was in Africa. Sorry about that. My geography ain't so great. How is that a last stream? I don't even understand how that's a last stream. Alright, guys. Relax. Relax. It's not a last stream, guys. Back to the game. That was really good, though, for... Uh... Now, I'm surprised Yuma didn't die. Like, he was playing like he had the egg, because he was, like, going insane. But yeah, I guess he just the eggs really didn't work. Yeah, like yeah, what yeah. He said. Yeah, yeah, The eggs owning, and also the Lincoln Sphere. I'm oh, sure no. he lived uh, some time there because of the Lincoln Sphere. Yeah, probably. Maybe he was right. Should have bought Link. Uh, Link was right. Now, the next item, Scotty. I like the Scotty, but I feel like there's too much mana items. I was thinking, like, he could get Scotty Refresher to compensate with, like, some damage items. So instead of Lincoln's S S and Y, it should be, like, Disperser, Scotty, Refresher, something like that. But you know, he lives, he can do him. The Link is ended up being good because the CK couldn't stun him, so he didn't die. Hector has a man. Hector, <laughs> dude, is like watching. Hector has a Manta, by the way, he just randomly decided to build one. I feel like Bloodthorn would be decent on Void. Like, you like everything that Bloodthorn gives you. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Like instead of the like, Mjolnir or Bloodthorn. I mean, and... normally you would want like a butterfly, but butterfly is not great against speed bow, so. No, he has to choose like net and yeah, he has like exactly. Bloodthorn and CK. It's like it's kinda bad, so. You just have to swap it out for Bloodthorn. I think it's like ideal. Meepo is falling off. This guy doesn't know his wing condition. Every Meepo you notice. It's freaking Roshan. So I didn't like the bottom push. The win condition is like fight. the 20 minute mark where you're just like two items ahead of everybody. You can't die because you have three saves. It's mm -hmm. like too late for that, I guess. Yeah. Uh, he got there. He gets up 20k goal with like complete map control. All you need to do is finish the third Roche, get the Aegis on Hector. Imagine if Hector had the Meepo at third Aegis of Hector Axe. This game would be completely different, right? They would be a 30k I feel like goal he lead off that. He's doing fine, but Hector and uh, Devi Long like, just weren't like pulling their weight to get to the end of the game. Like to, to end. Yeah, they took that stupid fight for no reason. Like, Horus' oh. initiations were just non existent. Like, he was just getting mana drained by line, like every fight. Just didn't yeah, do Dyer can, Dyer can still win this game, though, because Radiance, like, lane shove is so bad versus Dyer's heroes. They have Techies, Instant Clear, Meepo Clear, Mars, and CK Illusions. Raiden is like Doom faces Void Core, so it's very hard for, and Lions, very very hard for them to push out waves. So even though they cannot lose fights, if Phoenix doesn't get jumped, they also have no way to get like map control. They can only sit in base until like Dire dies without buybacks. Even after all those fights, you see Dire still all tier two towers out up, because all the waves are always pushed in. Yeah, I mean, I was just gonna say that it's NA and that like these teams are not very good and like anything can happen just based off that. Like. Wouldn't be unsurprising if some player just made like a very retarded mistake. Yeah, it's a game four, game four though. Qualifier, you know, whoever wins can can go, cannot go. So they're gonna play more safe, five man. Nah, they play RTZ after this for the qualification. Huh? Right? There's no way he's eliminated. And when does Thompson play in TI, guys? Yuma. Being a bit brazen here, just going out for the rune, sniffing. Hector trickstered up. He's gonna pop the smoke, but is, is it about he's gonna run any second down? The crapium goes, getting off the BKB, running away. Do they have the Doom chasing him though? They may throw out the Corona here, not necessary. Looks like he's gonna pop the BKB in the back line though. Fly down, he may pop the buyback right away if he chooses to. Yuma, nice Corona, I think. I mean, if they get K1, it's good. Gunner still has the Doom ready to go in the back line here. They're taking out Schofield. It's a really split fight. Stormstormer blinking in. Has BKB. Did not pop the BKB. Make a chain stun. Oh, gets the BKB off for the last second. Yuma going in, but he has nothing. No BKB. No nothing. Gonna pop away. Jump in. Jump out. And oh, down they go. It's a masterful execution. A literal god tier display by Stormstormer. The German zip lining in and showing them why they are the most feared country in this super world. 
<laughs> He's German. <laughs> uh, is he German? He's German, right? He's super German. He's like uh, the most German guy I ever had met. More German than Quakefa? Oh, actually, that one's up for debate, actually. Quakefa is pretty fucking German. Flying here looks stupid. I'm glad I'm not playing Dota. Yeah, I was, say, uh, I was just about to say, I feel like Flash is buying A on this. Like, uh, just get it over with. But he was saying for buyback, yeah. I guess, so. Yeah, because Dyer still can't buy Nullifier. Once he gets his A on this, I don't know actually how Dyer takes a fight now. It's gonna be hard. Hector can't get jumped like that. I just realized what I don't like about Hector's items. He doesn't have a blink. That's why I said, like, 10 minutes ago. I know, but yeah, I was I... looking at his items and, like, they felt weird, but I couldn't put my finger on it. It's blink. Or Shadow Blade. Like Shadow Blade's bad on carries now. Oh. What thing I know this is the uh, guy doesn't like blink. Kind of weird because Yuma has really dog shams too. I don't know what this like. He went like some like late ass flats. Right? He brought, like he just went flats. Okay. Oh, nice spear though. Fly. If he goes down, oh, he gets the egg up just in time. This is an absolute disaster. Oh. This is looking like a GG maybe. The swap comes out though. Wait, wait, wait. It can be no doom. Really? Getting Wind Waker? What the hell is going on here? Mega Beepo on the top? I don't know what the fuck's going on. A big Zuck coming out from Lelis though. They can't move. Slow to death. Storm's going to take out Schofield. Schofield does have the swap though. And three down for the side of Heroic. Hector spawning a little bit. Gunner looking to chase, but not going to find anything just yet. Schofield's illusion to go down. Both supports death for fit. Six seconds, but also in the back line. On the other side, Nouns did lose their supports too. Like you said, it's hard for... It's hard for Nouns to deal with these lanes. They don't have like the greatest heroes at doing it. And also there's just so much catch on the side of her Heroic. So you have to be kind of careful when you push out these lanes aggressively by yourself. CK should buy an Axe and just always use his ultimate shot lanes. I feel like the time has come where they can't 5v5 anymore and actually win. They need to like do some weird shit to like distract You're right. the opponent. They can't, they can't 5v5. It has to be like full rat mode. CK loses a Meepo. Straight up. Radiant's base rat rat. has enough holes in it where it's like an actual legitimate strategy. Like, there's no top tier threes or anything, so you can easily like chip it in. Man, whoever's typing Luki Luki is right about Lion's pissing me off. Lion is such an overrated hero. Just mana drain and this meme shit. I think you're capping, dude. This hero is so good. Good, but it's not like. I feel like this better force. Like, put wing and stuff. I think Wyvern is the better four, but I think after that, Lion's like my clear number two as a four. I mean, these fights look insane. I don't know. I've watched like three fights in a row where he's just like, he can solo defend the base, and then he just wins all these fights where you just can't go on him if he's in the right position. I do it's like Hoodwink awesome. though. The hero is good. Did Hoodwink get, get buffed or something? Yeah. yeah, he got buffed in a lot of ways. Is he playable as a core now? Probably oh my, my boy, my boy Young clapped up a pub today. As it's probably okay. I don't know if it's good though. Like you obviously have better choices. I mean, Luki, Luki, this guy only plays Pangolier. That's the only. I mean, Pangolier is good now too. Yeah. Solely because Mage Slayer is so nice on him. You might enjoy oh, him again. Roche. Eggs on the eggs hey, no. as well. I'm not sure who should get it here. CK, CK, for sure CK. CK, so CK can, sure, yeah. can wreck all the lanes with it. He needs that shit. Dude, Radiant doesn't know about Roche. What's going on? They need to dig a tunnel there right now. I'm done. <laughs> Did they give CK the eggs? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Just didn't look like. Oh, yeah, they just did. There we go. It's not worth an update yet. Every team needs like a nerd with the Roche timer. I always make my five do it. It was Dubu, and then it was White Mon. So Fly's gotta do it. He's gotta count those numbers. Dude, timing Roche is not impressive. What's really impressive is we'll time like enemy buybacks. Like I will not do that. That is too much effort. True. Dubu does that too. This is what EE does. Actually, oh EE times God. like ultimates and shit too. Like it's so fucking bizarre. Right now, EE is timing long and shorts. <laughs> Timing like fucking Wraith King ult and like Kronos here and shit. E Void would have won this game 20 minutes ago. It's so funny how much effort he spends on like min maxing the game, but like gets such like the basic stuff wrong. <sighs> Look, he has the worst takes in the world. Divai Llama! Oh, yeah, he's gonna go and throw in the Doom on himself and I Doom himself, yeah. Divai Llama getting solo chronoed, interesting choice to be honest. I feel like there's better targets, but. 
He's gonna go down. It looks like now he's gonna get the arena off, but will go down in the end. It's a weird fight. Where's Stormstorm in all this? He's gonna go ahead and blink in. Holy crap, holy! He got fucking popped! He's gonna have to go throw out the buyback. There it goes. Gunner gonna go ahead and try and run away with the BKB. Backside though, Hector, the real one, found and a huge pop hole coming out there. Look, oh, KJ with a three man blast off into another nice spear stun there by Divide Llama. Yuma though just manning up, chatting up, doesn't care. The Meepo nets flying out. Gunner could be in a little bit of trouble. Looks like he could go down. Yuma may face the same fate here. Just kidding. The Phoenix Sunray in the backline. Absolute havoc being created. Mega Meepo into digging in the ground. Looks like he's gonna hide like the little rat fuck he is. But Yuma giving chase. Yuma may find him this. This, what is this? Dissimulate the time Disperser. dilation. What the hell was that? Disperser. Disperser. Flying out. Of yep, <laughs> there he goes. Looks like he uses three saves in a row, surrounded by five heroes. <laughs> Didn't die because of it. Didn't kill heroes. Phoenix, man. Three heroes down on the side of Heroic with no buyback. This Mar stopped scaling her. What happened to his scaling? Where's his refresher? Man, he bought like Vlad's Lotus Mage. He, he did get Chrono like so to be fair. Oh, I see buying uh, Lotus. Analog getting oh, caught out. His team is not ready yet. They're, they don't have buybacks. So this is really, really wild. Stormstormer to be fair doesn't have buyback either. So if they catch him, Meepo dead. Meepo may go down again. I think he has buyback though. So he's just buying time for his team. Swap out from the. Doom, yeah, Analog goes down. King Jungle's trying to start something. But he's gonna go down as well. Oh, Meepo doesn't have buyback, so the game's just over. Probably, I mean, I don't see how they can really- Is it timer or gold? It might be gold. Let's see. Yeah, he has 50 seconds left and he needs 600 gold, so. Yeah, it's just Hector. I don't see how they defend this, but we'll see. I don't, I don't even know where Hector was last fight. I don't know, and he's even existed in this game. I don't know what he was doing. Chrono in 10 seconds. He's gonna pop it. But that's not gonna be enough. Yeah, what a link in here. He has BKB on Yuma. It's up and ready. Vi Llama up. I really feel like they, they should try to end the game, but maybe they're hesitant. They don't know the buyback situation here. Slow and steady. Taking out the Yuma towers. definitely has buyback, doesn't he? He has 9k gold. Oh, nice, Chrono on to K1. Do they have enough? Do they have enough in the tank to kill him? A swap does come out. Schofield saving his core. Divide Llama gonna have him pop the BKB, buying time, but they don't have... The Meepo is nowhere near. He's not gonna revive it anytime soon, and this looks like it could just be the game. Now it's gonna be slamming it home to Dubai. Down goes Divide Llama. Hector just watches as they gang bang his last tier four. The throne getting smacked. GG is called and a heroic loses it, and that is the grand final series, ladies and gentlemen. Nouns takes it 3 1. They now have to go on to the grand grand final where Shopify has bought their way back into the oh, grand final. Oh, it's wild. With blood money and oil oh. money. Uh, Holy shit. Nouns does win the grand final, and uh, they go to Dubai. I'm not sure. I think the tournament's in. Uh, Since it's in February, I think, right? So. Yeah, I hope they go to the water park. To the 16th. Dubai I've, is a very beautiful country. A little soulless though. I've heard, I've heard that. I think Nigma's headquarters are there now as well. Dubai. I think that's what Jamel told me. Nigma. I saw their games. The, I felt like they sh they should have owned the the Nigma. Bears team. Yeah, they then the Bears like pick Slark and then they just like didn't do anything to Slark. Pick Spanish just Slark. I don't know. I would have picked like and throw there in a heartbeat. I mean, they pick stock like that. It's free win. I mean, Nigma is not going to qualify, so I don't think it even matters. They had this game on die, yeah. but then they forgot about Roche. But Rainy also forgot about Roche. So yeah, I mean, what basically, what, what this what this game I think boils down to is just bad choices all around. And I think like to make it super simple is that. They went high ground when Roche was spawning. They could have just waited for Roche. And also, I think Divai, Llama, and Hector built really weird items. I don't really understand some of these items. Like, he went Vlad's first. I don't know if it's like meta on Mars. Uh, it seems weird though. And to... it's, it's not. It's supposed to go the. You can go Bassy first, 
into bling, you can't go Vlast first. You need to start initiation. What the Chad Mars do is they get the Helm of Iron Will into bling, so they win the lane, and then they make the Helm of Iron Will into Veil into Shiva's. And then they go Shiva's uh, Veil, Blink, no Blink, Helm of Iron Will, Blink into Veil, then BKB, then Shiva's, then Refresher. So late game, you're like double Shiva's, double BKB, double Arena. Yeah, that sounds fucking. I mean, bigger. he probably wanted Vlad's because he had a Meepo. Yeah, like, I, understand, I understand why. I just, just own. I feel like it's still stupid though. So just didn't yeah, work out that way. Just get the Venge to buy it. The fucking Mad does it. Why can't you do it? And then so uh, cheap. Hector, Hector just went really weird items. Like I, I don't understand why he went to Midas. Honestly, it's kind of weird. Um, he went like. I mean, Echo BKB is totally fine, or whatever. And then he went Orchid, which is like also. The fine. Orchid was where it went bad, I think, because he like didn't u use it effectively like one time. Yeah, because he doesn't. I he always doesn't have blink. Dead item. He yeah, you, you 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 buy Orchid, you need blink. I think I would have went blink after the BKB to snowball the game because opportunity can go just in the catch motherfuckers. You right? Then you go to Bloodthorn. Yeah. After also, the blink. He also could have just like honestly this this line is zucking right. He had he had no blink on line I think or what, what, what did he what did he go? Yeah, nothing. He literally oh, had yeah. a fucking grenade minute twenty. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. He, he, he could have just like blinked on this line when he was like zucking her and shit like that. Like, he could have blinked on either of the supports, and if they chrono him, he just gets swapped. Like, it's really simple, I think. But, you know, they just didn't do it, so. GG. Right, Lelis, okay, they don't want to go anyway. 32 minutes. He didn't have a blink. 32 minutes. He had literally no items. Tranquil, wand. You blink on this guy, GG. Doesn't mm -hmm. even matter if he has shard, he's like magic. You just like smack him twice and he's dead. It's the Bruno Mars build. It's the grenade. Very nice, man. Yeah, and then you just went to that. I don't know, it's a strange, strange choices from the sides of uh, side of Heroic. They could, they should have won this game, I think. I think we all agree on that, but... Yeah, I'm, the one thing I'm surprised about is Stormstormer's Quap. Uh, I can't believe he used this farm, to be honest. Especially after getting solo killed mid. This came back in the game really nicely. Yeah, this guy could chat it. He made one bad pickoff, but yeah, I guess it happens. He played really well. I like his item build too. This guy is, uh, I think this, his, he's, him and Gunner are the only people in this game, actually the Meeple too, that itemize properly. Core wise. Gunner did 103k damage? What in the world? This received. Oh, I was gonna say, what the hell? That doesn't sound he's correct. Glad. You need some glasses there, Mason. 100k damage dealt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Quop, Quop slaps for sure. This hero is definitely like pretty nice. I'm surprised you don't see it more. Yep. It's, it's the laners. Similar. It's it's like it's like uh, it's like really similar. It's like very similar to puck. Look at like Hector's puck. hero damage, lowest in the game, literally, lowest in the game. Yeah, it is, yeah. that's actually so pathetic. How does he have the lowest hero damage? How does Avenge have more hero damage? <laughs> Just more hero CK? Damage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know why they didn't pick Abaddon. To be honest, I, I don't understand at all. I feel like Abaddon was very nice. It was on. It was, it was in the pool. Either. What? Yeah, it was unbanned. It wasn't banned. What? Like, what? What did bro do? He just hit Crypto again. He was just playing Maple Story. He really was playing Path of Exile. All right, yeah, Abaddon was definitely a better pick for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, any fault? Any closing thoughts? Anything we want to get out of the way? Anything we want to drop there? Any hammers to drop? No. All right, thank you guys for asking. Peace out. I right, got it there. All right, I want to play a pub. So yeah, that was uh, that was good though.